In this video, I'm going to do some demonstrations so you can see what scoping is actually doing to your application. So um, like totally objectively, what is actually happening behind the scenes? If you're watching this video as a standalone, be warned, it's part of the course on my website. It's completely free and you can watch it on codingwithmitch.com. Uh, so definitely this video is going to make no sense if you didn't watch the previous videos. So definitely watch those. So, so the point of this is just for me to actually kind of just play around and I want to show you some examples of what scoping does and uh, why you should be using it. So I'm going to go into the app module. And again, if you're watching this as a standalone video, this isn't going to make any sense to you. So I suggest watching the course. I'm going to create a new singleton dependency. So I'm doing app provides using singleton. Uh, it's going to be a user object. So static user, I'll just say, uh, you know, some user because remember this the naming of this method does not matter and it's going to return a new user object so i have this user object now as a dependency now i'm going to go into auth activity so i'm going into ui auth and auth activity and i'm going to inject this new user object so at inject i'm actually going to drag this in a little bit to give us more room and declare a user object so i'll call it uh, user number one now I'm going to go down into on create and I'm going to print out that user. So I'm just going to do user number one. And just by printing out, by adding user number one to the log, it's going to actually print the memory address of user number one. So now I'm going to run this and I'm going to show you what happens when I rotate the screen. So uh, if I'm in auth activity and I rotate the screen, the activity will be destroyed and then recreated. And I want to show you that um, the, the user object is going to be reused. It's going to be using the same exact instance because it's going to be a singleton dependency. All right, so there we have auth activity on the screen. I'm going to open up the log here. Uh, I got to add a filter. So com coding with Mitch. That should filter on this application and we should be good to go. So now uh, our user object should have printed to the log. Let's see here. Uh, on, I'll just filter on on create and there so there's the memory address of the user object right there so now watch what happens when I rotate the screen if I rotate the screen I get the exact same memory address of the so the user object is exactly the same so that's that's what I wanted to show you I wanted to show you basically that that user object is being reused now watch what happens if I comment out this user object. Actually, I'm going to copy this. So I'm pressing Control C, copying that. I'm going to go into auth module, and I'm going to print or paste that in as a dependency. I'm going to change this to the auth scope. So now this user object is part of the auth scope, and it's a dependency inside of auth uh, activity subcomponent. So inside of auth activity, I'm not changing anything. I'm still injecting that user, and let's see what happens. So I'm going to rerun the app and do the exact same thing. All right, so there we have the app on the screen. Uh, I'm actually going to clear it because I want it to be clear here. So I'll rotate it once. You'll get that first user address. Now I'm going to rotate it back and notice that the address has changed. So because the user object is a dependency within the auth scope and the auth scope is the auth activity is destroyed upon rotation all the dependencies are also destroyed. So that's what happens when you uh, scope something to a subcomponent and then the subcomponent is destroyed. All the dependencies for that subcomponent will also be destroyed. So that's a, that's a good example of um, kind of the differences be between declaring an application level dependency and a dependency that's part of a subcomponent that can be destroyed. I guess also since uh, while I'm here, I'll show you one other thing because I never showed you it in the course. I want to show you how to create uh, dependencies that return the same the same object type. So if I comment this out, it will actually give me an error because I'm uh, trying to return the same type of dependency. So I'm pretty sure if I run this, it will give me an error, or it won't. It'll give me a yeah. It gives me an error, so I can't uh, run it. So what it the problem is it's uh, Dagger doesn't know how to differentiate between this user object and uh, the user object being created in the auth module. So what I need to do, or what I can do, is use the at named annotation, and I can do like, uh, you know, app, I can just do like app user, and I'll copy that annotation and go into the auth module, and I can add it here, and this one will be called, uh, I'll just say auth user. And then I can go into auth activity where dependencies are being injected, and I can inject two different ones. So I can do at named, this can be, you know, app user, and I'm going to copy this, 
I'm gonna fix this up so it's cleaned up a little bit. And this one will be auth user and I'll name it user two. So these will be two different dependencies. One will be from the, uh, the auth module and one will be from the app module or the auth the app scope or the singleton scope or the auth scope. So now if I run this, you'll see that uh, the dependency, the app user dependency will not change its memory address. That's gonna be reused and the auth user is going to be recreated because the activity will be destroyed. So let's open up the log cat and I'm gonna filter on, on create. So there's our two user objects. The top one is the app level user and the bottom one is the auth. So let's rotate the screen. And there you can see that the app level user is reused, the instance is reused, but the auth level, the, the one that's part of the auth scope is destroyed and then you get a new user instance being created. So that's it, that's for, it for this video. I just wanted to play around a bit and show you kind of what scoping does and how it affects the instances of the objects that you use. Now in the next video, I'm gonna do a very short, or I'm gonna try and keep it short anyway, I'm gonna do a short comprehensive review of the entire course. So I'm just gonna kind of go through all the most important points that we covered and briefly kind of remind you of what they are to help solidify all of the knowledge.